Are your emails getting blocked by Google and Yahoo? If so, you're not alone. Starting February 2024, these digital giants are introducing new sender requirements that could affect your email delivery. Created you by SamuelFRobinson.com, it's all part of a drive to enhance authenticity and ensure a smoother email experience for all. But what does this mean for you? Well, if you're not up to speed, your emails could end up being delayed, blocked, or even marked as spam. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Let's dive into these new requirements. Starting February 2024, Google and Yahoo are setting new standards for email senders. Here's the scoop, folks. Google and Yahoo, two of the largest email service providers, are stepping up their game to enhance email authenticity and delivery. And if you're sending emails, you need to be on board with these changes. First off, the use of branded sending domains is now mandatory. This means the domain in your email from address must align with your brand. No more pretending to be someone else. This change is designed to increase trust and transparency between sender and recipient. Next on the list is DMARC Email Authentication. DMARC, which stands for Domain-Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance, is a protocol that provides an added layer of security for your emails. It communicates your email policies to mailbox providers, helping to prevent email spoofing and phishing attacks. As part of this requirement, you'll need to add a DMARC record to your DNS and define a policy. This might sound intimidating, but don't worry. We'll delve deeper into this in a later scene. Then we come to the low spam rate guidelines. Google and Yahoo want to keep their users' inboxes clean and relevant. As such, they require that you keep your spam complaint rates below 0.3%. This means you'll need to be mindful of your email content, frequency, and recipient engagement. And speaking of recipient engagement, let's talk about unsubscribe options. Google and Yahoo are insisting on making it easy for recipients to opt out of your emails. This involves including an unsubscribe link in the footer of your emails. It's about respect and user choice. Lastly, a word of caution. Never, and I mean never, pretend to be Gmail or Yahoo in the from headers of your emails. It's not just about being honest. It's about adhering to these new requirements and maintaining your email deliverability. Sounds complex? Let's break it down. First off, what exactly is a branded sending domain? Well, let's break it down. A branded sending domain is the domain that your emails are sent from. It's like your email's home address, and it's an essential part of your email's identity. You might be wondering why does this matter? Think of it this way. When you receive a letter in the mail you'd probably trust it more if it came from an address you recognized, right? The same concept applies to emails. A branded sending domain is a way to show your recipients that the email they're receiving is genuinely from you. It's a seal of authenticity, a virtual handshake if you will. Now why are Google and Yahoo insisting on this? It's all about enhancing email authenticity. With so much spam and phishing attempts flying around the web, these tech giants are taking a stand to protect their users. By requiring a branded sending domain, they're making sure that the emails received by their users are legitimate and not from some shady corner of the internet. Having a branded sending domain is like having your own unique digital signature. It tells your recipients, hey this is really me, you can trust this email. It's a direct reflection of your brand and adds credibility to your messages. So, how do you go about getting a branded sending domain? It's actually quite straightforward. You'll need to purchase a domain that reflects your brand and then configure it as your sending domain in your email service provider's settings. It's a small investment that can make a huge difference in your email deliverability. Remember, a branded sending domain is more than just an address. It's your brand's digital ambassador, carrying your brand's reputation with every email it sends. It's your key to building trust with your recipients, enhancing your email deliverability, and ultimately, achieving better results with your email marketing. Getting a branded sending domain is the first step to staying in the clear. It's your ticket to ensuring your emails land in the right inbox and not in the dreaded spam folder. So take the leap and let your brand shine in every email you send. Next on the list is DMARC Email Authentication. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is DMARC? Well, DMARC, or Domain-Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance, is an email authentication protocol. It builds on the foundation of two existing mechanisms, SPF, Sender Policy Framework, and DKIM, Domain Keys Identified Mail. What DMARC does is communicate a policy to mailbox providers, enhancing the overall security of your emails. But why is DMARC important? In a world where phishing and email spoofing are prevalent, DMARC provides a way to authenticate that an email is genuinely from the domain it claims to be from. 
This not only helps to protect your brand's reputation, but also ensures your emails reach their intended recipients, rather than being marked as spam or blocked altogether. So how does DMARC work? It works by adding a DMARC record to your domain name system or DNS. This record tells receiving servers how to handle emails that fail DMARC checks. You can define a policy as none, quarantine, or reject depending on your needs. The none policy means that no specific action is required for emails that fail DMARC checks. Quarantine instructs the receiving server to set aside emails that fail the checks, typically in the spam or junk folder. The reject policy tells the server to reject emails that fail DMARC checks outright. How do you add a DMARC record to your DNS? It's quite straightforward. You create a text record in your DNS with the name underscore DMARC, yourdomain.com, quote comma, where yourdomain.com quote is your actual domain. The value of this record will be your DMARC policy. Remember, to comply with DMARC standards, the from address domain should align with the branded sending domain. Avoid pretending to be Gmail or Yahoo in the from part of your emails. It's all about authenticity and building trust with your recipients. And just like that, you're well on your way to meeting these new standards. Now let's talk about spam rates and unsubscribe options. In this digital age, the respect for your recipients' inboxes is paramount. With the new changes coming into effect from February 2024, Google and Yahoo have set the bar high, requiring senders to keep spam rates below 0.3%. This may sound challenging, but it's absolutely achievable with some good email practices. Firstly, it's important to ensure that your recipients want to receive your emails. This means obtaining explicit consent before adding anyone to your mailing list. This not only keeps your spam rates low but also builds trust with your recipients. Next up is your content. Sending relevant, valuable emails that your recipients are interested in is a surefire way to avoid the dreaded spam folder. A good rule of thumb is to ask yourself, would I want to receive this email? If the answer is no, then it's time to revise your content. Now, what happens when a recipient no longer wants to receive your emails? This is where the unsubscribe option comes into play. Making it easy for recipients to unsubscribe might seem counterintuitive, but it's actually an essential part of maintaining low spam rates. Imagine this, if a recipient can't find an easy way to unsubscribe from your emails, they might mark your email as spam instead. This not only increases your spam rate but can also harm your sender reputation. To avoid this, consider using automatic unsubscribe links. This feature, available on platforms like LC Email Service, automatically includes an unsubscribe link in the footer of your emails. This way, if a recipient no longer wishes to receive your emails, they can easily remove themselves from your mailing list. Remember, the key is to respect your recipients' inboxes. By maintaining good email practices and making it easy for recipients to unsubscribe, you're not just complying with Google and Yahoo's new requirements, you're also building a positive relationship with your recipients that can lead to long-term success. Lastly, let's address the issue of pretending in the from headers of your emails. It might seem like a harmless trick, a clever way to ensure your emails get opened, but it's far from harmless. Pretending to be Gmail or Yahoo in your email headers is not only deceptive, it's a surefire way to get your emails blocked. You see, the new email sender requirements from Google and Yahoo are designed to protect their users. They want to ensure that their users are receiving genuine, authentic emails. So when you pretend to be Gmail or Yahoo, you're not just breaking the rules, you're undermining the trust that these platforms have built with their users. Think about it from your recipient's perspective. They trust emails from Gmail or Yahoo. They're more likely to open them, to engage with them. But if they find out that they've been fooled, that trust is broken. And once trust is broken, it's incredibly hard to rebuild. So what's the solution? Be authentic. Be honest. Use your own brand in your email headers. Not only will this keep you in compliance with the new requirements, it will also build trust with your recipients. After all, honesty is the best policy, even in your emails. Thanks to some of our supporters. Get AIKey.com, use AI to make money in Storm Raiders Marketing Inc., providing IT and finance support. Thanks you fam. So there you have it. We've navigated the labyrinth of Google and Yahoo's new email sender regulations together. We've highlighted the importance of using branded sending domains and DMARC email authentication. We've emphasized maintaining low spam rates and providing easy unsubscribe options. And remember, it's crucial not to impersonate Gmail or Yahoo in your from headers. Remember, staying informed and compliant is the best way to ensure your emails land where they should. Until next time, keep your emails clean and your communication clear.